was told that Philips here in Holland had worked a little with negative feedback before before the war, but they uh, they have not got a patent on it because I as told that the patent office don't believe that it was possible to 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 get something sensible out of negative feedback. So they was working it, they were using it, but they have no patents because the patent office don't want to give it the patent on it. Uh, but that was what we know about it, and then. Uh, uh, but that, that was after the war. We learned that uh, you at MIT, there was a Professor Candle there. He used negative feedback, but incorporated mechanical devices. I said, what we was used only negative feedback in, in electronic amplifiers. But he could uh, have, uh, have motors and, uh, and actuators and, and so on, mechanical things putting in into the negative feedback. And, and, and we thought that was a damn good idea, so we put an extra coil on, on our level recorder and use that as a negative feedback <laughs> on the mechanical system. And it was absolutely new at that time. 